Miami Children's Hospital provides world-class care to children, not just from our community, but from throughout Florida, the nation, and across the globe. No matter the medical need, children from newborns to age 21 receive specialized expert care at Miami Children's. Thanks in part to the continued support of businesses and business leaders throughout our community, we will be here for more than 250,000 children this year. U.S. News & World Report ranks us among the top children's hospitals in the country for several specialties. As you can imagine, maintaining this level of pediatric care requires the involvement of our community and beyond. The participation of our corporate partners makes a world of difference to children in need by supporting the physicians, nurses, facilities, and research that allow Miami Children's Hospital to provide world-class care. As a community, investing in children's health care should be our top priority, and Miami Children's Hospital Foundation is leading this charge. We are proud to recognize socially responsible businesses through our Corporate Leader Program. By investing in the health and happiness of children, you can make an impact on countless lives. Since your donations stay in the community in which you do business, members of our Corporate Leader Program have an opportunity to partner with us in building a healthier future workforce and a stronger economic outlook. Miami Children's Hospital Foundation congratulates all of this year's nominees. Total Bank is a community bank. We've been here for more than 30 years in the community and we have grown tremendously just in the time I've been here. We've gone from 200 million to over 2 billion. Uh, in 2007 we were acquired by Grupo Banco Popular Español which has been great for us because uh, that helped us survive during this crisis and we are in the 92 percentile capital wise nationally meaning that only 8% of the banks have more capital than we do. It was very hard. It was really difficult at that time to break out of the mold of being what was called a secretary. If you've seen that television show, Mad Men, uh, that is how the working world was when I started. It, the opportunities for women were very few, and I can remember many occasions when I went to like a Robert Morris dinner, and all we had was a sea of dark suits there and maybe two women there. We knew each other, who we were, so <laughs> we, we were really pioneers in, in the banking world. You really, when they talk today about branding yourself, I think that's what we had to start way back then. <laughs> we had to become a brand of our own and, and more or less promote ourselves to say, look what I'm doing. <laughs> I've taken a class uh, from uh, Tony Robbins that talks about six different needs that we have. And uh, there's a need for recognition, a need for uh, achievement, uh, a need for inclusion, a need for variety, a need for stability. And then you come to the higher level of need, and those needs are growth and giving. And it just comes about that way that when some of your other needs are being met, and all, and you start looking at the things that are more needs of the spirit, which are growth and giving. Westchester General Hospital is a very interesting uh, business. We have actually two hospitals under the Westchester General Hospital umbrella. Uh, one hospital is uh, all psychiatric and one hospital is a full service community hospital. The majority of our medical staff is Hispanic and there are about 200 physicians that currently uh, work here. My first job in uh, healthcare was at Miami Children's Hospital. When I was about 18 years old, I worked in the radiology department there. And when I uh, married around uh, age 21, I moved away. And at age 24, I found myself in Northwest Colorado uh, living in a trailer. 
and in 1990, I uh, relocated to Miami when I was um, in the process of a divorce. And several months after relocating to Miami with my two very small uh, elementary school-aged kids, I found myself without a job. I was very fortunate in my career to have met a mentor who was female and who understood all the pressures of not only having a very hectic professional life, but also having young children at home that needed a lot of uh, structure and support. And through that relationship, I have always uh, seen it as uh, a priority to mentor other young women as a mechanism of paying back for all the blessings that I was given by my mentors and um, for all the women to be able to be better persons. Univision is a group, one of the, the largest broadcasters in Spanish in, in the United States, and I oversee uh, nine radio stations in three of their markets, New York, Miami, and Puerto Rico. So at the end of the day, we're responsible for the overall operation, top line growth, the bottom line, and more importantly, we're responsible for making sure that we inform, entertain, educate, and empower our Hispanic community. When I graduated from high school, my goal was really to have, like I said, a beautiful home, a bunch of kids, and a sheepdog. And I was very happy with that. And there was not much about a career. Uh, but surely a while after, I got divorced. I had a child. And so that my perspective on life changed. I wanted to be able to provide for my child, and I wanted to do a little bit more. And I think I matured and realized uh, that I had to do a lot more than that. My mother was a unique lady, and even more than being a unique lady, she faced unique challenges uh, that few people have to encounter, and she uh, uh, overcame them. Uh, and uh, like I know that I could have never uh, overcome them. Uh, my, uh, when we were very young, my father was executed by the Cuban government. Uh, my mother was 30 years old, my father was 36. They had four small children. I was the oldest of the four kids. Uh, my mother was also a political prisoner. Uh, we left the country. She came to this country alone with four small children. I'm the oldest of the four. So I had, uh, like I said, a tremendous role model because I saw my mother go through a lot and yet uh, overcome extreme uh, situations and obstacles. And she went back to school. She spoke English. She became a psychologist and she taught at Miami-Dade Community College. And I think a lot of the things that I use in my present job uh, in psychology is basically based with all that I learned from my mother. She never um, was bitter or felt sorry for herself or us. And she was never, um, she was always a positive person. In spite of it all, she was very positive and uh, pushed on. And I saw my mother be a fighter, so. That's a great model.